All right, this is our gray water collection system. So all of our sinks, showers, washing machine, everything but the toilets, it exits the house through this two inch line. And you can kind of see the uh, lay of the land underneath there. So we actually have two separate drain systems for our house. We have our black water that goes into our septic tank. And then we have our gray water that's going to come into this bucket. This is very similar to how we have our spring set up, um, complete with union. So I put a union here so that I can unscrew it and um, easily back the pipe out of the tank. There's no reason to put a bulkhead here because it just is gonna drain in and I don't need it to be tight because it's just gray water, it's not drinking water. So it's not a big deal if bugs or whatever get in there. Now, inside this bucket, you can see the pipe goes in there. I'm gonna put some screen around that pipe with a hose clamp. And then you can see that there's an elevation difference there. And I did that on purpose so that the water drops down here. It's gonna filter through that screen kind of bag that I'm gonna rig up. And then the cleaner water <coughs> is gonna drain out this side into our tank. This is an inch and a quarter bulkhead and it took a two and a quarter inch hole saw to make the, the uh, hole big enough for that bulkhead to, to uh, go through. You can see there that a bulkhead unscrews and you just pass it through and connect it and uh, really handy. Like I said, this is exactly what we did at our spring, it works great and I can unscrew this union for easy maintenance, but ultimately I may not even need to do that. Um, we'll see. This is just to give you an idea of the way I'm gonna do the screen. I am gonna replace that bread twist tie with a uh, hose clamp, but I don't have any two inch hose clamps that I know where they are. So for the time being, that's gonna work just fine could also use one of those rubber bands that comes on the um, stalks of broccoli that you buy at the grocery store. So reduce, reuse, recycle. We like to do that. So all the little bits of food and hair and whatnot will get stuck in the screen. I can just slip this off, wash it out, slip it back on, and that'll keep the water that goes into the tank relatively free of particulates. This is a water tank that we used to have up top. We used it for a lot of our construction, a lot of our concrete, but we have matching tanks up there now. So it is now a whole lot of gray water storage, which is a good thing because that's gonna be our garden area. And you can see we have our little tiny garden started this year just because we couldn't stand it anymore. But eventually that whole area is gonna be fruit trees and, um, garden and whatnot. Now, this is our leach field. So I am probably not gonna plumb a hard line underneath the ground here because I don't really wanna disturb the leach field more than I have to. Instead, I'm just gonna run hose and I think that that's gonna be just fine. California has, as you may know, very, 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 very dry summers, which is when you need the most water for your garden. So I'm really excited that we get to repurpose most of our household water for that. And uh, gray water, we're gonna use, you know, wise choices in detergents and soaps and stuff like that, because you do have to be careful that you're not putting things in your gray water system that are gonna be harmful to your plants. Also, in the event that we need to, having that additional water can be a resource for fire protection. So you can see the misters that I have set up on the perimeter of the foundation there. That's a separate video. But having that much gray water, I could have just used a pickle barrel, sure. But because I had that tank, having that much um, water, that much liquid this close to the house, 
I'm going to have the ability to get things wet down here if I need to. It's not going to be a whole lot of pressure, but you don't need a whole lot of pressure. We like to put shutoff valves pretty much wherever you could imagine. Um, that fitting is just threaded in there, and if I have to put some pipe dope on it to seal it, I can. It's no big deal. It just is unscrew and screw back on. Um, this is an existing fitting that was glued together that we already had, so I reused the um, this portion of two inch pipe into this T, into this bushing, into this three quarter inch. So that was all existing, so I was able to reuse that. It makes me super happy. And then coupled it to this existing piece that I already had. And I wanted to use this one because this is where I'll put the spigot to attach the hose to feed the garden. So one thing that's worth mentioning here is the reason that this is going out horizontally instead of vertically is because if that were to be upright, then I would only ever be able to drain this tank to whatever level that upright went to. By putting it horizontal, I'll be able to drain the tank all the way down to that fitting. Gravity works.